Today I wanted to take a look at my Atari stuff. Now I have it spread everywhere throughout my house, so it's going to be a little tricky to find it all, but I'm going to try to remember as much as I can of where it is. And this video is also going to include ColecoVision and Intellivision as well, since they're kind of normally grouped together. And yeah, so I'm just going to be showing everything that I have. and. If you guys want, comment below. I can do more, you know, of an in-depth look. This is just going to be kind of quickly going through, just kind of show what I have. And I've been collecting Atari stuff and related for years, probably, I don't know, six years, eight years, I don't know, something like that. But it's all been found locally. I've never ordered anything online, so... That's one thing I'm really proud of about this. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to show what I have that I'm keeping. I won't be showing anything that I have for sale or that I'm selling or whatever. But so anyway, so this is the TV that I use <laughs> to actually play these games. It's a Quas Star from the late 80s, but it works surprisingly well. And again, I've had it for since I just first started. So it's been reliable for sure. And then the system I actually use is kind of a beat heavy sixer, just because I have cleaner ones that I'll show later, but I don't like to put wear on the, the nicer ones, so I try to use systems that aren't in perfect shape when I can. So that's that, and I have a dust cover that I forget to put on a lot. And then we have 5200 I'll cover here. This is four port, so the earlier ones with and it still has the pink paper over the the chrome, so really cool, in great shape. And I have the original box with the serial number for this one, matching serial number. And to play that, I use the Wiko. I think it's a command control or something. I don't know, you know. But I use this with the keypad, which these are very hard to find now, but they make playing the games <laughs> possible pretty much. Um. And speaking of the 5200, and these wooden shelves going up like this, that is the entire North American set of games. So from right here down, that's every game ever released. And I got insanely lucky with a lot that I bought last, maybe a year ago now, maybe not even, that had every single game in it. So that was, and for a great price, so that was, that was insane. That was one of my favorite things I ever got, <laughs> so... Yeah, and then under here I have just some trackballs and stuff. If I want to play some Missile Command or Centipede. Um, and here's my ColecoVision. It's got two nice controllers at work, which is also a problem with this system. And I've had to open it and clean the power switch out, and it works perfect now, So because that's a super common thing for these. Then I got the steering wheel there. I'm trying not to go in super detail, because we would be here for literally hours, I feel like. And then here I have my Atari 7800, which also has the plastic on it still in the silver part. And I believe, I think, I don't know if the serial numbers match, but I have the box for this one as well. Well, I have all of these in the box. Yeah, literally all of them, but not all of them have matching serial numbers. And then there's my small collection of 7800 games. It's hard to see because of how dark it is. Let's see, one of these little tap lights here might be able to get a better view oh yeah way better so yeah just nothing crazy there just kind of the, the commons that you'd expect but a lot of good games pretty underrated console in general the controllers aren't as bad as people make them out to be but yeah so that's pretty much my whole 7800 collection pretty that's definitely the smallest on any of these consoles in terms of like game library and then here's my television with the Intellivoice on top and these cool little joysticks, which I really think improve the playability of this console. And yeah, I like the Intellivision. Not my favorite, but you know, it's worth owning for sure. And then down here for my Atari computer games, this is an Atari 600 XL, which I do have in the box with the serial number. <laughs> and then my games are back here. They're kind of hard to see. Got Atlantis in the box, which is pretty cool. And then 
basketball in the box, and then a bunch of loose games, which you can't even see the titles of, but there is nothing crazy there. Like, you know, your Missile Command, Centipede, Pac-Man, you know, your classic games you'd expect to be back there. That's what's back there. And then over here, this is all of my boxed and television stuff, which most have the overlays and whatnot. And they all have, most of them have these plastic cases as well that I keep them in just to kind of keep them protected, even though they're not particularly mint. So, you know, just kind of go through these quickly. There's the voice games, the sealed royal dealer there. Be worth millions one day. <laughs> And then here's some other ones I couldn't fit on the shelf. And then below these, I have tons of manuals for the, those are all 2600. And then those go over here. And then these are more 2600. I think this whole box, maybe some in television at the bottom and ColecoVision as well. And then these are all 5200 manuals. And most, I have manuals for a lot of the games. So that's good. Definitely that was, and again, most of them were from that collection, so that was that was such a good buy. I'm so glad that I was able to get that. And anyway, so continue. This is all a few more in television here. Um, and then right after the checkers, so the gray game, this is all Coleco box games, ColecoVision. So some good ones there. Definitely Beam Rider probably being the highlight there. And the Fortune Builder is pretty good too. Got Sorry, Lynx game, Battle Zone, why not? And then, so here's my ColecoVision games. I have them all wall mounted, which is pretty cool on these little holders. So, yeah, I'll this game in here. It's gonna bug me. It's missing. There we go. So, here they are. These are all the normal kind of cartridges here. Pretty good system. I haven't. I, again, I got all these in a the big collection. I haven't played most of them a ton, but the ones I have played are definitely worth playing. The controller holds the system back a little bit for me, but it's not horrible, definitely. Definitely usable. Um, I guess that's my ColecoVision stuff. And we have a few of the Atari porn games up here. Yeah, those three. Those are for the 2600. So that was... Another interesting, interesting local pickup, but yeah, so and then we have some Odyssey 2 loose carts and a few more box 5200 games that are to complete. Those are also part of the set. Um, yeah, and then these, like, I'm not going to pull them all out, but they're just kind of the commons. I wasn't even sure if I was going to talk about Odyssey 2, but I guess we will. And then these are my loose and television games. So they're kind of, I kind of ran out of room, so they're kind of double layered, but these are just kind of like, these are my overlays, tons of overlays. I need to start getting rid of some of those. And then here's all the games. I'm trying to just kind of go slow so you could pause the video if you really want to see what's all here. And then here's some of the white label games, which are kind of cool. They're the later release after they sold their rights over to the other company. I forget who it was. So just kind of your later prints. And there's all the magic games. And then we got Coleco and television games and then Parker Brothers. And then there's some of uh, the voice games are over here on the side. And then the Activision games, don't forget about those. Some of the best in the system for sure. Okay, and then now we are finally on to the 2600. So this is definitely the one I'm focusing on the most. Um, but again, it's all local, so I kind of just get what I get. So, um, so yeah, so here's all the Magic games that I have. Pretty cool. I'm almost to a full set. I think I'm just missing Shooting Gallery. Or not Shooting Gallery, something like that. Something about shooting, and then maybe the Shooting Gallery, and then maybe one other one. But I'm not sure. Here's the Sega games. Cool. And then here's the the double the double ender games. And there's a few like single releases of the same games, or at least some of the same games. So that's pretty cool. And then I have the Starpath Supercharger, which plays the cassette games and the 2600. So 
that was really good to find that locally too. And then lots of Coleco games for the Atari 2600. We've got a few Konami games. I always forget they make games for the 2600. And then all of these ones are the mail order games. I forget like something, you know, command vid. So those are pretty cool. A lot of those are, especially these black labeled ones are definitely up there in price just for their them being uncommon. And then right here we have all of the M network games. So Mattel, which made the Intellivision, they licensed out or they started making some games for the 2600 and that's why they look like an Intellivision game with a tumor on the end. So it's pretty cool. Um, a few white label ones as well. And then this is a whole data age set. So the eight games they released, there they are. A few of them are kind of damaged, but they play, so and that's all I need. And then Activision, definitely the best publisher for sure. And here all those are definitely most of these I would definitely recommend playing. Like they're pretty good, most of these games. There's very few that are not that great. And here's some other games from other companies. That S-Fall game, this one right here, is pr pretty uncommon. I was surprised to see the value on that one. And then these are all of our official Atari releases. So I'll kind of go by rows here. And then these are double, double layered. This I just found recently, this Gunslinger picture label variation. It has a little pen on it, and the label's a little damaged, but really, really excited to find that as I drop it. It was all the value. Um, let's see. I keep hitting this light. <laughs> okay. There's some more. Pong Sports is another decent, like, little variation to get. All right, I ran off phone space there, so it might happen again, but I just delete a bunch of stuff. But anyway, these are all the numbered games of like the launch titles. So these are like really early prints, the stack right here. And then behind that is just the standard picture label games. I can balance these. Okay. These are all the standard picture labels that I have. There they are. Getting somewhat close to a set of these, but still got some work to do. It's hard to get sets for sure. Um, and here's the red label games. These are like really late in the 2600's life, kind of more like Atari Junior releases. And then here's all the Sears that I have. And then these are of the educational, um, like the Sesame Street games. So that's kind of cool. That's a whole set as well. Four of those that ever came out. And then here is just a bunch of other companies. Can I go through this quickly? I don't have much space on my phone. Um, Parker Brothers is another notable thing to get. Um, so yeah, so that's all the 2600 games. There's a bunch of combats <laughs> that are loose, at least. My box stuff is up here, so I guess I can just basically go, basically is mostly Atari stuff. So here's a box Jaguar, complete, a Jaguar CD, working and complete, which is pretty cool. I don't know what's under here. Let's see. Maybe a Commodore game, I don't know. It's an Intellivision Amico game, which I actually just ordered the whole set of those hoping down the road, if it actually never comes out, which I don't think it will, that maybe they'll be worth something. And if not, I like to have them in the collection. Some Atari floppy disks back there. And then behind these, Mario's is the um, 2600 boxed game. So I'll just kind of go across. Most are in box protectors, but they're pretty expensive. So they're not all in box protectors. Here's the Activision. Red Labels, the Sears, and then some other companies, my Magic back there. And then um, continues up here, the Silver Label games. 
and then still more 2600 and then 5200 starts here with these blue striped beams so there's those still going activision won't want activision it's parker brothers and then these are 7800 boxed which i have a decent amount of a lot of duplicates though um these in magic are these these are in television i believe um and then more, more in television back there donkey kong um so yeah that's pretty much everything here it's like some little handheld i mean there's these books there's like then up here there's like a trackball controller boxed stuff controllers just i don't know things definitely things up there so yeah so now i'm going to take you to my controllers okay so here's all my controllers and joysticks and i'm gonna be really quick here if you guys want to see a video of me literally taking all this stuff out i will and i'll show you everything so you know, 5200, there's a stick stand, just lots of stuff. The Coleco Wicco controller, which I really like. I don't know why I don't use that all the time, but I don't. Um, in here, these drawers are really full. It's really full. These are just paddle. I think this top drawer is supposed to be only paddles, but then other things kind of work their way in here. Any of these joysticks that are kind of beat up. It's because they're, like, this one should be, yeah, they're the heavy sixer joysticks. I don't keep them normally like that, but if they're the heavy sixer variations, I will keep them if they're beat up. And then I've got, like, the wireless Atari controllers, 7800, another stick stand, just random, just controllers. Again, if you guys want to actually see this stuff, let me know. These are really nice for the 5200. I have a couple of those. Yes, I need to sell some stuff, but I like collecting it. And when I get it, it's just sometimes hard to get rid of it because you don't see it too much. You know, apparently I do. I don't know, but there's a 5200 trackball. Just there's a little pong machine. So yeah, and there's a few other little things in here that I would like to show. It's like a little display I have up. So I have like the little arcades and the the matching games and like some plush so i thought that was kind of cool little handheld these are jaguar boxes that have never been folded out so that's pretty cool and this little pac-man glass i really like a few other quick random things so here's the original atari pong in the box i just got that recently sears manual and then here's the complete television amico game set i haven't even opened them yet i haven't even looked at them and here's a sealed vcs of the new atari the wood grain model i have the black one downstairs hooked up that i actually use but i wanted the wood grain for the collection sealed here's a fairchild channel f in the box with a bunch of games just got that recently too in the last month or so and then i guess i'll show odyssey stuff too here's my boxed games for that i don't have that system hooked up so i don't really get the opportunity to play these too often but when i do bring it down it's, it impresses me normally honestly so so yeah on to the next section of Atari hoarding, I guess we'll call it. Okay, so a lot of non-Atari stuff here, but there's still enough of it, obviously, to talk about. So, turn on these lights. Okay. Um, so down here we'll start. I'll skip over anything non-Atari. So, Atari monitor. It's Apple. Um, here's an Atari Mega ST4, which is working, except for the floppy drive. Unfortunately, it does not work anymore, but... Pretty cool as the keyboard, and then I got this external drive, which also doesn't work, so <laughs> that's great. Um, then there's the box for that 5200 that's upstairs, I believe, unless it's the other one, I'm not sure. Um, and then here's a 5200. I have these display cases. That one over there has no Atari stuff in it, so I won't be showing that one right now. But it's 5200, and a really clean heavy sixer. That's like probably my nicest one with the joystick. 7800. Then here's the Atari 800 XL. Really clean. And then with the printer and the disk drive and the joystick. So that's pretty cool. And then probably this light. Yeah. My probably one of my definitely one of my favorite things is the Atari Jaguar kiosk. This thing is awesome. I'll definitely make a whole video on this for sure. But obviously we have to show it here too. So 
Here it is. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I was very hyped to get this. It was my first one of these, <laughs> pretty much, so. Yeah, that's really cool. And it has the, it's, it has the Atari monitor inside that's hooked up with RGB, so it looks so nice when you're playing on it. And the speakers are pretty good as well. So yeah, that's that. And a couple more small things, so. Over here is the only really thing. This is like more my modern setup, but I have the VCS hooked up over here. So, okay, on to the next section. Okay, so in this mess of boxes, we're only gonna be focusing on the Atari kind of era stuff. Real quick, there is a Vetrix here, which I guess kind of groups in with this stuff as well. And then these are the vid a vid lid for the 2600, and then some common games. Those were like the first ones that I got. I don't know, I just left them in there. And then. Atari computer stuff. So we got two 400s, um, a 800, uh, another Jaguar, um, TI-99 4A if you want to count that. Here's my VCS, black, the black box. Um, Pong consoles. I'll make probably make a whole video about Pong consoles too. I have a fair amount of those. I won't even mention them now. Got a 2600, the chess piece box. I just got this last week. So pretty cool. I actually have two of these. Mine's really damaged. It's on this shelf that I'm going to be showing, but I'm going to be getting rid of that one. I'll just keep this one. Um, there's a lot of stuff buried. Like, these layer, these things go back layers and layers, so I'm probably missing, not going to talk about all of it, but at least what we can see here is what we're going to talk about. So, some television. Um, 7800 in the box, obviously. 5200 box. Sears four switch box, which has the system in there with the serial number, which probably holds true for most of these. Here's the factory reconditioned Atari in the box. That's really, that's like mint inside. It almost looks like it was never used. Um, four switch box, again, really clean. And this is my beat up heavy sixer box. So that will be replaced with this one down here. Junior. Um, that Atari logo back there is for the dis, um, the cassette drive for the Atari computers. It's a Wicco control stick. Like, eventually, maybe I'll take all this stuff down. There's a video pinball. Like, there's more back here. Try to peek through there. Um, I don't know. The tele oh, and Television 2. Like, just, there's a lot more stuff back there that I just can't see, and I don't feel like taking it all down, so... So, from what we can see, it looks like that's it. Um, oh, I do have... That brown, kind of water damage looking box, even though the inner box is fine, that's actually just the shipping box, is the original Odyssey in the box, and then I have a bunch of boxed games here. And then there's like a the Switch box also in the box, so that's a really cool, I guess that kind of groups in with this kind of stuff. Um, I know I have a 1200 XL, there's more stuff, I just can't even see any of it, because there's so much other stuff that's in the way. Um, and all of these boxes do have systems in them, pretty much. Like, they're not just empty boxes. Oh, there's another Intellivision 2 right here. Right here. I have two of those. Two different versions. That's why. Um, there's, like, some other random things. This is, like, the stuff I'm gonna be selling, probably, just because they're kind of beat up. The ColecoVision action controllers in the box, but completely torn. I, I don't know. I don't have that box. I might keep it for now. ColecoVision box, but again, torn in the front. Another 20. I mean, there's stuff everywhere, but that's the majority of it. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, um, just let me know um, if you'd want to see anything in more detail. I can definitely take all these boxes down and go through everything one by one. I could go through all my controllers. I could anything. So just let me know what you want to see. And yeah, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, one more thing. These bins are full of stuff I'm keeping, and some of these are pretty much all Atari controllers, but I figured I'd show these, um, the little console, I don't know what they're called, the holders that you could put your system in and games and controllers. There's even a 2600 in that one, but yeah, like there's Odyssey 2 stuff, just there's more stuff in here. Yeah, if you want to look at it, let me know. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.